Shabbat Shalom, holiness and thought and in deed. Parshat Kibashim is known in the world of Bible scholarship as the Holiness Code. The Israelites are exhorted to be holy because God is holy. And following this famous exhortation is a long list of laws which presumably instruct, instruct the Israelites on how to achieve holiness through proper conduct. The laws range in topics from idolatry to agricultural laws to interpersonal relationships. And it's significant that all of these various laws are mixed together. The reform movement made its historic break with traditional Judaism by declaring that Jews no longer had to observe ritual laws. Only the moral laws were still binding and obligatory upon Jews. A Jew still had to be honest, but keeping kosher was unnecessary in the modern world. While I do think that it's possible to categorize some laws as moral and others as ritual, I think that this week's parasha belies that distinction. Judaism set up its legal system intermingling ritual and moral laws to show that rituals are informed by morality and morality is expressed in rituals. It's immoral to be kind, but one displays one as one's attribute of kindness by slaughtering an animal in as painless a way as possible, or perhaps by not slaughtering animals at all. When the law prohibiting revenge is followed immediately by laws on how to sow seeds, we see that Judaism from its outset believed that morals and rituals were always supposed to be linked, one informing the other. I look forward to seeing on Shabbat at TRZ. This weekend we're going to celebrate the Bat Mitzvah of Janice Benar, Friday night at 7.30 and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Shabbat Shalom.